A common feature of icons of the Mother of God is that she points to her son whom she is holding. An example is the icon of the Mother of God of Mariapoch. To whom does she point and why? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It is not uncommon to hear people who are enjoying themselves, perhaps lying on the beach, say, this is the life. Surely such experiences lift us from the daily grind and seem to be preferable. But these last only a short time, and should they extend, we soon come to realize that the life needs challenges, obstacles, and difficulties. Modern advertising suggests that to really enjoy the good life, all you need is some product or other, a Jaguar, a pool, a Pepsi, and freedom to do what you want. Indeed, Mary points to the life. Jesus' life is eternal, able to be victorious over all obstacles, including natural death itself. He wants to share that life with us. We celebrate how he shared that with his mother as we commemorate her falling asleep and entry into heaven. The life God offers is abundant life eternal life. This life is ours for the asking, but it is easy to misunderstand it. For life we must have the truth. Mary points to the truth. Jesus didn't give us a list of truths to accept. He gave us himself the wholeness of truth. He willed that by uniting ourselves to him we would be assured of this truth. He founded the church, the body of Christ, and entrusted to the church his true body and blood, and instructed that we must proclaim the truth. How do we come to the truth and the life? Jesus tells us that he is the way. If we want to know the truth and live the life, we must follow his way of self-sacrifice, purity of heart, service of others, and so forth. Mary points to Jesus, and he in turn directs our attention to her example to help us on the way through truth to life.